Hey everybody, and welcome to Mundoid, your one-stop shop for all things Project Zomboid. And after a hell of a good week last week with me finally being able to say, you want RC3? Here's RC3. We have ourselves a new th little blog to go over, but this week is going to be a lot less eventful than the last. And that's of notable reason. Keep in mind that with a shorter and more concise blog typically means that they're hard at work in getting RC3 ready for a public testing. And that's what they kind of hint at in this week. So let's quickly go over what we have here in this week's Mundoid titled Streams of Blood. A happy title if I've ever heard one. And talk about why uh, or what, should I say, they need to fix before the public testing goes live. So, uh, outside of an introduction paragraph, there's really not much to talk about here. And as always, I fully suggest you go to the Mundoid blog and read it for yourself. Because what I'm going to do is a quick, quick read over and my opinions on what's going on. Though again, with this particular blog, not much to talk about. So, what's keeping Mundoid away from the people? Why is it not quite out in your hands yet? Well, the biggest reason right now is the very first bug that they talk about, and actually I'm talking about it in my little mini-series where I'm showing some gameplay, doing a little series, a little playthrough of RC3, and that's the save bug. For some people, and for some unknown reason that they're trying to figure out, um, the saves are corrupting for some people, and they're not quite sure why, and myself included, it's happened to me. What'll happen is, I'll play for a while, um, if I don't play for a very long time, I can load up the game no problem, and then, seems later on down the line, as I'm playing and I exit out, if I load back up, the game just won't load, and that is obviously something that they don't want to happen. Now, it's happening, happening in various times. Sometimes it'll take hours of gameplay away. Sometimes it'll take minutes of gameplay, as in, and when I say that, to be more specific, the bug won't show up until hours of gameplay down the line. Sometimes it'll show up, you know, having only played 10 to 20 minutes and then trying to reload. So, again, that is a big bug, and they obviously don't want to release RC3 with that being part of the problem because, you know, as much as you and I or all the people who read the blog can understand that this is a problem, and again, it's an alpha testing, for every person, as they say on this on this blog, for every person that understands that, there's at least, they say at least another person, but I'd say at least 10 people who would flip their shit because they believe they are deserved of this and, and deserve it in their hands at all times and assume it's a finished product. And those are the people that I despise. They think they're entitled uh, when they knew full well what they were buying into. Either way, I'm not going to go down that tangent. I believe it's not one that needs to be reiterated a million times. Anyway, uh, so that save bug is their biggest, biggest issue. The second one that they label the second biggest is that some low... Uh, low-end integrated Intel graphics cards so uh, are having issues with the game, big issues, performance issues that are making it, I don't know if it's un, uh, unplayable, but making it graphically glitched, probably running slower, etc., etc. Well, who is that going to affect? I Intel integrated graphics. To me, that screams laptop owners, um, low-end laptop owners, mind you, not regular laptop owners, really low-end cheap laptop owners, and people do, who don't have a graphics card and running off the Intel graphics integrated to their motherboards. Um, Probably not affecting a wide, so that's, overall that's not going to be affecting a wide variety of people, but there is that sect of people that it's affecting, and obviously, with that said, they can't say, well, you people are screwed, we're not going to, we're not going to fix this for you, go F yourselves. No, they're, they're going to try and fix this, and with fixing it, it's going to take time, um, but they have said as well, this is not going to do, um, this is not going to be their main issue, as the save bug is the game-breaking problem. So again, uh, unfortunate, but with a new engine, kind of, and, and building the game from a gr the ground up, and having all these new features, things are going to not be as smooth as they were in, say, 1.5D, where things were sexy and smooth. Um, a third issue that they're talking about is the Langolia effect. The Langolia effect is basically, if you've ever seen me play in the RC3 special from last Mundoid or RC3 gameplay, something kind of occurs every so often where uh, these weird lines appear, and it's just a graphical glitch. It's a weird hiccup, um, and it's it's basically it looks like um, they they actually kind of word it nicely. It's uh, it looks like areas of psychedelic void. The the textures start to swirl and kind of meld together. Sometimes it looks like they falter and splinter. It's a really weird graphical effect. Again, not anything that's going to prevent them from really releasing the, to the public testing, but something they definitely want to hammer out sooner rather than later. And then the final thing that they're talking about that they say that they could leave out and ignore 
until the game goes out to public testing, but they don't want to, is the uh, Moonwalking Zombies. It's a, it's a weird cosmetic thing, really bizarre, but it definitely does break the atmosphere ever so slightly, and they don't want that to happen, especially with how far RC3 has come, uh, being so atmospheric and so dangerous feeling and so gloomy and moody feeling. Having that kind of thing kind of pop up, though minor, for some people, could really break the immersion. God knows for Lemmy and the developers, for something they put their heart and soul into, they do not want to see this small little weird cosmetic glitch occur to the point of, um, you know, occur to the point of breaking immersion. So that is something they're hammering out. Uh, outside of it, they're talking about who gets it when. Um, right now, they're talking about whether they're going to be putting it up on Desura to auto be auto-updated, which it will happen. Um, or it's going to go to the forum goers first. They have said if it does end up going to the forum goers first, they don't want to hit the same snag where the forum goers get it, but the Desura people don't because the Desura people have been exceptionally, exceptionally patient this past year. And god damn have they been patient for sure. So they're definitely talking about getting it up into uh, the Desura clients as well as the forum goers. And I think that's something that I'm actually kind of uh, happy about because I almost forgot that I own the game A on Desura, uh, but B, that a lot of people actually haven't played it outside of the the 1.5D because they have it on Desura. They don't necessarily know how to get onto the forums and download the, ro the right thing and get it to work, etc., etc. God knows back when I was trying to get RC3 going, uh, when I got into the, the closed testing a while ago trying to get RC3 up and running for the first time. I had problems getting it running, so um, Desura obviously makes it much simpler for everybody, and there are those people who prefer to run it from Desura as opposed to loading it from their computer because it is just simpler. So that's completely, completely understandable. I'm really happy about that, that they're actually going to get that up there. Other than that, they're just saying they're in a really good place right now. Things are running super smoothly. They haven't been this good in a mood, uh, and just development-wise, this good in a very long time. And it's really cool to see them get this close, and they've just got that last hill to climb, that last big bug. They say, when do you expect to see it in public testing? It could be next week. It could be the week after. They don't, again, want to make any promises in case something comes up or something takes longer to fix than they expected. Again, for the millionth time, they've said this a hundred times, a hundred million times, etc. They are just going to make it right before they release it, and I completely, completely understand that. They are now up to 24 the 24th closed testing build. Think about that. Closed testing went into what? Closed testing two weeks ago or so is when it started. And uh, that means in two weeks they have 24 different builds already available. That's insane. So that's really cool. Um, and at the end, they just have a link to a bunch of stuff, including uh, my videos, Ringo D's videos, and a few other Twitch uh, people. Um, we got Eki in there. We've got Middle Aged Bob, D Thunder, Nasco. So a bunch of streamers who do streaming of the game. So go check them out. Again, the links are in the blog. Another reason to go check it out. I hope this has been informative. I'm, ex I'm super excited because I feel like the next couple weeks are going to be big weeks for this game. And I look forward to seeing you guys next week if you are weekly visitors. If not, uh, and if you're regulars, well then, I'll see you later today or tomorrow. Thanks for swinging by, everybody, and I'll see you next time.